Hello, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be making a vegetarian dish. It's a meatball mariana. It's basically vegetarian meatballs and a hot dog roll or a sub. And it's cooked in a sort of tomato sauce. It's really, really nice. It's something you get in Subway, Meatball Mariana. This is just the vegetarian version, my vegetarian version. It's probably nicer, but I've never eaten a meatball sub at Subway, so I don't know. Let's make it. Okay, so for this, we will need a bit of basil, a, a bit of red chilli. We need a red onion, about three cloves of garlic, and some sub or hot dog rolls. I'm using Sainsbury's Jumbo hot dog rolls. I'd prefer to use brioche hot dog rolls, but I don't have any. But it would be nicer with brioche hot dog rolls. And finally, I've got two packs of vegetarian meatballs. These are Linda McCartney. I'd say these are probably the best ones because of the texture of them for this particular dish. But there are other nice meatballs out there, like the ones by Richmond. But they're a bit softer. I prefer these because they're a bit harder. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the oven. They take about 15 minutes to cook. The reason I put them in the oven is because it makes them quite hard and crispy on the outside, which I quite like. So when you bite into them, they don't completely fall apart. So we'll put them in the oven and then we'll make our tomato sauce. Okay, so I've finally chopped some red onion. So I'm just going to put that in, about half a red onion. And then I'm going to add some chilies as well to the pot. Just a little sprinkle. This is just more for flavour. It's not really for spiciness, so you don't really want to put a lot in. It just adds an, a nice, a nice little bit of flavour. I'm going to crush three cloves of garlic into the pan as well. Great if you use a garlic crusher for this. It works so much better than trying to chop it up in your hand. You don't need the skin off either. Just put it in and then crush it. Like so, and then uh, do the same again with the last one. <laughs> Good for your muscles as well, this is. There we go, garlic, red onion, chilies. So what we're going to do is just cook that for a little while. We'll add some olive oil, and we'll just wait till the onions are cooked, and then we'll add in our tomato sauce. Okay, so once the onions are cooked, I'm going to add in tomato sauce. And then the idea is to sort of reduce this down and get rid of the excess liquid. What we're also going to do is add in a big glug of extra virgin olive oil. This helps break down the tomatoes and adds a really nice flavour as well. And I'm also going to add some pepper and salt, of course. Although, it's normally better if you say salt and pepper. That sounds better, doesn't it? But I... What difference does it make? Salt and pepper, pepper and salt. And I like to put a glug of maple syrup in as well because it just gives it a wee bit of sweetness which is really nice. Tomato and maple syrup just go so amazing together. So we want to sort of just sort of cook that down and get rid of the excess liquid. But we don't want to cook it down too much because we still want it to be a bit saucy but just let it thicken up a bit. And the last thing I'm going to add to it is some basil, fresh basil, just to give it a nice Italian-y tomato taste. Okay, so while the sauce is cooking and the meatballs are cooking, I'm just going to grill some insides of the hot dog buns. This will just make them nice and crispy inside, which adds even more texture and flavour to the dish. Okay, so once the tomato is ready, which it is now, I like to just sort of mash it down a bit just to help break down the tomatoes a bit more. This helps thicken up the sauce even more and it's really nice thick consistency now, which is absolutely lovely. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is put the meatballs in the sauce. We've got quite a few meatballs here, but there's a lot of people to feed in this house. So we're just going to put them in the sauce, give them a stir and then it's just a case of dishing them up into the roll. It's going to be so good! If you feel the sauce is a little thin for your liking, just add a little bit of tomato puree. Probably tablespoon, half a tablespoon will do, depending on your liking really. That just helps thicken it up. And of course the last thing to do now is just get the roll and put your meatballs in it. There you go, many can we fit in this hot dog roll? Last time I experimented making this, I fit 
about three in it, and I'm going to go for four this time. So you got your four meatballs and your hot dog roll, and then just top it off with an extra bit of sauce. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, meatball Mariana. It's amazing. Looks well nice. And just take a beauty shot, show you how good it looks. Okay, so we've got our meatball marijuana, and what am I going to do? Eat it. Mmm. That is so good. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see, obviously you can see the meatballs stayed well intact, which is why I like to cook it in the oven, because it gives it that little bit of bite. The sauce is gorgeous. Mmm. This is so good. It's so easy to make. Give it a try. Like, subscribe. I wipe my face. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm.